In this video, we are going to explain about green chemistry, its background and its 12 principles. The origin of green chemistry can be traced back to the early 1990s when the term was coined by Dr. Paul Anastas and Dr. John C. Warner. Dr. Paul Anastas, often referred to as the father of green chemistry, had a strong interest in environmental science and had been involved in efforts to address environmental issues. Dr. John C. Warner, with expertise in chemistry and environmental science, shared Anastas's commitment to finding sustainable solutions to environmental problems. Green chemistry, also known as sustainable chemistry, is an innovative and environmentally conscious approach to the design, development, and application of chemical products and processes. It aims to minimize the impact of chemical activities on human health and the environment by reducing or eliminating the use and generation of hazardous substances. In 1998, Anastas and Warner published the seminal book Green Chemistry, Theory and Practice. The book outlined the 12 principles of green chemistry, providing a comprehensive guide for chemists and researchers to follow in order to make chemical processes more environmentally friendly. Here are the 12 principles of green chemistry. Number 1. Prevention of waste. Focus on designing processes to minimize the generation of waste rather than treating or cleaning it up afterward. Number 2. Atom economy. Encourages the maximum incorporation of starting materials into the final product, minimizing the use of atoms that are not part of the desired product. Number 3. Less hazardous chemical syntheses promotes the use of methods that generate fewer toxic substances and byproducts. Number 4. Designing safer chemicals. Advocates for the creation of products with reduced toxicity to humans and the environment. Number 5. Safer solvents and auxiliaries. Suggests using solvents and reaction conditions that are less harmful to human health and the environment. Number 6. Design for energy efficiency promotes processes that minimize energy consumption and avoid the use of excessive energy. Number 7. Use of renewable feedstocks. Encourages the use of raw materials derived from renewable resources. Aims to reduce dependence on non-renewable resources and decrease environmental impact. Number 8. Reduce derivatives. Suggests avoiding unnecessary derivatization steps in chemical synthesis. Number 9. Catalysis. Promotes the use of catalytic processes to enhance reaction efficiency. Number 10. Design for degradation. Encourages the development of products that break down into innocuous substances after use. Aims to minimize the persistence of chemicals in the environment. Number 11. Real-time analysis for pollution prevention advocates the use of analytical methodologies that enable real-time monitoring and control during chemical processes. Enables prompt corrective action to prevent the formation of pollutants. Number 12. Inherently safer chemistry. Promotes the incorporation of inherent safety characteristics in the design of chemical products and processes. The introduction of green chemistry was a paradigm shift in the field of chemistry, emphasizing the importance of designing products and processes that minimize environmental impact from the outset. In conclusion, green chemistry acts as a catalyst for transformative change, steering the chemical industry and scientific community toward practices that are not only economically viable but also contribute significantly to the creation of a sustainable and environmentally friendly future. Thank you.